So I'm Vlad, um, I'm from Lighter, and uh, essentially what we're building is a roll-up uh, to make trading uh, you know, efficient, fair, and secure on top of the Ethereum ecosystem. So um, let me first talk a little bit about kind of the background and why this is important. So there are different ways to design markets. Uh, I think um, you know, historically, most of what's been done in um, the Ethereum ecosystem has been like AMMs, which uh, given kind of efficiency constraints for a while were the only approach you could take with um, costs and uh, you know, and latency being what they were, without kind of all the scale that you can get through rollups. So, uh, you know, but but AMMs have a lot of other issues, which are that you don't really have very efficient price discovery. Like you can get high slippage, and it's just not not very efficient market design overall. I mean, they're they're also, um, you know, kind of of course like centralized or partially centralized exchanges which you know are, are more efficient but then you lose in terms of market structure but then you lose a lot of the transparency and security that you get with something that's fully on chain so you know an order book model is kind of the most efficient way to operate an exchange but uh, you know there, there have been it, it's been difficult to make it work uh, on top of ethereum because of you know the, the way uh, that an order book runs like it's not as simple as just um, you know each, you know posting an order making a trade because for the price discovery to happen there have to be like many many orders that have to be canceled and replaced and for all of that to happen on chain you know it's, it's very costly to do in kind of a naive way right so if you think about like high frequency trading is something that happens in most exchanges and TradFi as well as centralized exchanges of uh, you know of digital assets and uh, you know generally there's like hundreds if not thousands of orders for for every trade and that uh, being able to do that is what allows the market to have very efficient price discovery um, so what uh, you know uh, what we've been working on for uh, for the last little while is a way to kind of get the best of both worlds right where you get the security and the fairness and the transparency of Ethereum with an order book structure. So, um, and what, the way we think about this is, is a concept of verifiable matching, right? So, if you think about like an AMM type structure, that is fully on chain. You know, everything that happens there is verifiable, but it's not really matching, right? It's kind of, you know, everyone is part of this larger pool and you know, th there's not, you know, specifically, uh, um, you know, a matching process of buyers and sellers happening there. Um, on the other hand, like centralized or partially centralized exchanges do have matching process, but it's not verifiable. Like when you send an order there, you actually, the part that makes sure that your order is treated fairly is, is, is actually not happening on chain with those structures. So, you know, what we've been able to do is like to have a custom rollup that actually is able to achieve verifiable matching, where you have a full matching process happening for, you know, for, for to match buyers and sellers in an order book structure, while all of that, you know, the fact that that happened fairly, you know, where when you send an order, the order is actually being matched at the right time, in the, you know, right price, all all of that kind of happens in a way where there's a cryptographic proof of that, right? So. Um, the way we've been able to do this is through essentially building a rollup that has custom circuits that are specific to to trading and finance, right? So essentially, like if you think about a full zkVM, that kind of rollup has uh, you know tens of millions of constraints when you're building a circuit, and that's uh, you know if you implement like one one approach that could be taken is like implementing. The, the financial infrastructure, the smart contract on top of a general ZKVM. But then you need kind of the full machinery of those tens of millions of constraints, which, you know, while a lot more efficient than just building on L1, is still uh, quite, you know, in introduces quite a bit of cost and quite a bit of latency. So our approach was, okay, let's, let's just take the bare minimum of what you need to operate, uh, you know, financial marketplaces and build 
circuits just for that. And that we can do with much fewer number of constraints, like only a few hundred thousand constraints. Um, and, and so the idea here is that we have kind of an engine that, that generates proofs that that the, the trades are happening fairly, right? When you send orders, that the matching is, is verifiable. And also, um, what this gives you is a way to see that liquidations are fair. So when, if, you're, if you're trading a derivatives contract and you know, the, the price hits a certain point and you get liquidated, there, there's kind of a cryptographic proof that, uh, that, that, uh, um, you know, that, that there, the, well, there wasn't any market manipulation and that was actually uh, the price point was, you know, the liquidation was triggered correctly. There, there's kind of an on-chain proof of that, right? So, uh, and, and we still get all the normal benefits you get of being on-chain, which is kind of being, uh, you know, the security of building on top of Ethereum and um, kind of being able to see all, 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 the, all the trades that happened on-chain, you know, as you get with uh, some of the other systems in the space. But the, the main innovation here is kind of this verifiable matching and verifiable liquidations piece. Um, and th this could be used for any kind of marketplace. We're starting with um, perpetual futures, which are kind of the, the biggest marketplace for, for digital assets. Um, right now, still like over 90% of all volume is happening on centralized exchanges, and it doesn't have to be that way, right? With, with this tech, you can get all the efficiencies of centralized exchanges while keeping the core parts, uh, you know, verifiable and on-chain. Um, so in terms of the implementation, you know, we have a white paper um, that, that we've published on this, so folks can read kind of the details here, but one of the main things here is that we came up with a new type of data structure called an order book tree, and so essentially here we have a, a tree that's kind of at once, um, you know, binary tree and a, a Merkle tree that, that stores the orders um, in the order book at any given time. And so this allows kind of fast operations with the order book management. And at the same time, it allows kind of fast proof construction of the fairness of, of these computations. Um, so uh, as we got here, a couple of kind of architecture decisions that we made, like I mentioned, one of them was, uh, you know, do we, build a custom rollup or use a ZKVM. I mean, this was kind of pretty clear after benchmarking that you get way more benefits in terms of latency and particularly cost. You know, if you want to have kind of a market that supports uh, full high frequency trading, you kind of need to build this custom rollup. Um, another uh, decision was like, what do we do with data availability, right? So right now what happens is that um, all the trades that did clear the market, and, you know, all the trades that were matched get um, posted on the base layer, and also the, the proof that the matching happened fairly, you know, that gets posted. The, the actual, you know, the thousands of orders that didn't get matched, those don't have to be posted on the base layer. Um, and that, that saves a lot of, um, of, of, of cost in, um, you know, in, in the, the data availability side. Now we're, you know, we're exploring ways where you could actually get that, you know, if there's some, um, you know, market makers or others who actually want that full order book history data as well, like maybe they can get that through some kind of data availability solution on top of it. So that's something we're looking at now. But the way that system currently works again is that you get kind of the, the trades that actually cleared the market and kind of proof that that happened fairly is um, get, gets posted. Um, and this, this can run either as its own L2 or as an L3 on top of an existing L2 uh, like ZK Sync where you get kind of uh, um, some additional benefits around proof aggregation. Um, we also have for the, for the, you know, to operate perpetual futures, there's kind of, you know, the liquidation and risk parts are also done kind of on chain, right, as I mentioned. So you get this verifiable liquidations and then all the rules around when that happens are transparent and, um, and so the, the, the circuits kind of encapsulate those rules as well. Um, in terms of like the proof system, that's another decision we made, which is like, how do we do something which re really re reduces costs? And we, after benchmarking a bunch of different proof systems, like Groth 16 was, 
the one with the lowest cost. And so there's a trade-off there, which is like to set that up requires this MPC trustless ceremony. So, um, you know, for for the first version of of zk Lighter, we're going with Groth 16, but now we're looking at a way to actually combine a few different proof systems in one that kind of get the best of um, both worlds where we might avoid you know, in the future of having to do the having to do this MPC ceremony every time while still getting uh, the cost benefits. Um, so in terms of like areas of collaboration with other teams, you know, there are a few different things in, on our roadmap, which we're already talking to some folks here on, but would, would love to connect on as well. So one is like, you know, as with most rollups, you know, the sequencer right now is, is centralized. So kind of figuring out ways to decentralize the sequencer. Um, actually, I guess the, the team that was just here, Radius is one of the ones who's working on this, right? But there are others, you know, anyone who's working on this kind of uh, the problem of decentralizing the sequencer, that's very interesting to us since, you know, we have this smaller um, constraint set in the circuits. It should be easier uh, to do the decentralization of the sequencer and that, you know, once that's complete, then the system, you know, that, that's the, the only bit of the system that you know, has a centralized component at the moment. Um, I, another one is kind of full MEV resistance. So the current structure is already very, has um, a very low possibility of MEV because, you know, when, when you, you can do operations at such a high frequency and with an order book structure, like the most, you know, MEV can only happen at kind of the, the level of a few milliseconds at this point, but, you know, even ruling out that possibility is something else we're, we're looking at for future versions, um, as well as ideas like time lock encryption that would essentially, um, you know, pr prevent any kind of, um, you know, sub sub millisecond um, ways that, you know, the, the the market could could be biased to one participant or another based on um, kind of time zones and, uh, you know. Um, making sure that there's no unfairness even kind of at the sub-millisecond level. Um, and, and then finally, like I mentioned, kind of data availability for the order book. Um, we've been talking to a few teams on that. Would love to explore more collaborations um, in this area. Um, so, so yeah, so, that's, so those are kind of some of the main areas we're looking at for, the, for future versions. Uh, right now, we have the white paper and testnet uh, live. You know, mainnet is... Um, coming out in, in the next two months. So we're, you know, we're really excited about that as well as for folks to try the test net. So that the, you know, the website is just lighter.xyz and um, definitely you know, ping me on, on Telegram with any questions. Um, I can uh, connect you to others on our team if, depending on um, what it is. And we, yeah, we yeah, would love to uh, collaborate with folks here in the areas I mentioned and uh, uh, you know, kind of build the future of decentralized finance together. So th thanks so much. Yeah, let me let me know if you guys have any questions.